Hello and welcome. I'm Ali Benjamin and this is Satya Sunday Broadcast. I welcome you. I'm glad that you're here and peace and blessings to you here at Satya. We're all about inspiring minds, healing hearts and transforming lives. And I trust and know that something you hear today will in fact lift you up, open your heart and inspire you as you move forward through this week. So why don't we start with a little grounding, centering. So gently close your eyes and maybe if you feel comfortable, place your hand on your heart as a, an acknowledgement of being here, of being present in the now moment. Placing your hand on your heart says, I'm here, I matter. And as you ground in, as you center yourself in this moment, I invite you to open your heart. I invite you to open yourself to the one power and the one presence, the omniscience, omnipotence, and omnipresence that life is, that God is, that love is, that is right here for us always. As soon as we turn our attention to it, we can feel it. It's Center is everywhere and its circumference is nowhere. It is the power of love. And all of us are individualized expressions of this one power, this one presence, giving form to it through this human vehicle. And so together we are here making up the one body of humanity. Together we are here as channels and conduits to bring forth the love and the light and the joy and the beauty that we find so easily when we wake up to our true self, when we wake up to allow the power of love to move through us, as us, in us. And so as you ground and center yourself in this awareness today, trust and know that you are in the flow. We are all in the flow of this amazing omnipotence, this one powerful, absolute cause of all creation. And breathe that in and trust and know that you are never alone. You are always supported. You are always present to the love that God is. And as you open your eyes and orient yourself to this moment, <clears throat> I welcome you again. I welcome you back to the world of form as you open your eyes and feel the expansiveness of not only who you are as a non-visible being, uh, a spiritual being, but who you are as a physical being. It's a both and. It's the physical and it's the non-physical. And we're, we all have that. We are spiritual beings giving form to this human being. And so welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. And I trust that what I have to share today will support you right where you are. Whether you're going through something challenging or you're on top of the world, I know that the spiritual principles that I share today will support you in taking that ne next step. And so every week of this year, 2023, I've chosen a word and I research that word, I sit with that word, meditate, contemplate that word, and then every Sunday morning I give some voice, some insights, some inspiration that has come through me through the week of, of diving into the word. And today I'm cho I've chosen the word power 
and we're on the letter P here at the very end of August and so power is a great word to to sit with because as I've been moving through my world I've realized that me you we are conduits <clears throat> vehicles that channel the power the one power that we call God that we call grace love joy beauty divine wisdom we as individualized expressions of the one we are channels or conduits to bring the power into form so we're going to explore that today what does it mean to be a conduit to be a channel for the one power and the one presence so let's dive in so Gary Zukov who's an amazing teacher author spiritual enlightened being says in in his book authentic power creating authentic power is an interior process only you can become aware of your emotions consult your intuition respond instead of react and consciously shape energy into matter with your will that is such a powerful statement and to unpack that could take all week so I'm gonna post it in the comments so you can spend some time this week unpacking that that statement and what it really means for us as individuals to create authentic power to harness that power of the universe the power of God and channel it through our being why so that we can have a better life do good works that we can express our highest most authentic um, self our essential self so I'm going to read it again creating authentic power is an interior process only you can become aware of your emotions consult your intuition respond instead of react and consciously shape energy into matter with your will that's huge so we have a lot of power and as usual I've created an acronym I've created I've chosen some words to the represent the word power and help us to understand how that we how we can harness our power cultivate our power and direct it through our words and through our actions to not only help others but to help ourselves and to build strong and healthy relationships in our life so the word potential is the word that I've chosen to represent the first word letter of power potential having qualities or abilities that may be, may be developed and lead to future success or usefulness so we each have potential we each have a seed within us that contains that is like a blueprint and contains within it everything that is required for us to thrive for us to move through the world with a sense of belonging with a sense of confidence with a sense of determination and intention we have that blueprint that potentiality within us now when we're engaged with the ego mind primarily the surface mind the intellect we may not be able to have full access to this potential that exists within us it's kind of a seed that's been hidden there from the universe from God and we can tap into that potential that seed and many of us do when we go on a journey of self-discovery we start to go a little deeper we ask bigger questions like why am I here what's it all about what can I do to make life better for all of us and we start to dig a little deeper and we start to realize there's a seed within us and this seed is the potential that I'm talking about we each have something within us that once we understand gives us the potential to have a, a life 
filled with meaning and purpose and beauty and joy. It unlocks this, this, once we find that seed and we open the lock and we dive into our potential, it is, is as though everything that we need to have greater awareness on what it means to be human and how to move forward more with more meaning, more fulfillment, more efficacy is unlocked to us. So we unlock our potential as we do the inner work that Gary Zukov talks about. This is something that we do within ourselves. It's an inner engineering, if you will. It's an interior process that once we are aware of this seed of potential within us, we can't not be unaware of it. And it sort of pulls us, it draws us, it speaks to us, it whispers to us about what's possible. It whispers to us to move forward in a way that better expresses this potential, this truer self, this potential for, for change, this potential for ex enhanced joy and creativity. So that's the word I've chosen to represent P is potential. We each have it. The second word letter is O and I've chosen the word open. We get to open our minds and open our hearts. This is extremely important when we're trying to cultivate authentic power, tune in to the omnipotence, the one power of the universe is to be open, open-minded and open-hearted. So how do we become more open-minded? We start to move out of our comfort zone maybe. We start to move out of the comfortable ruts that we've formed for ourselves and our lives and be willing to try something new, to think something new, to make new friends, push yourself out of your comfort zone and through that stretching, through that becoming willing to be more open, we start to have access to greater possibilities. We start to see with new eyes. We start to develop the capacity to open up to that inner hearing, being able to hear beyond the audible what am I talking about? Intuition. When we start to open up our mind, we open up our inner seeing, we open up our inner hearing, we're able to move outside of the persona that we've become so accustomed to, this personality, that the ego structure, and we begin to expand our awareness by opening. Be more open. To what's possible for you because no matter what age we are we always have the opportunity to open up to more we're not fixed we're not stuck those are all egoic mindsets actually you are here to be more you are here to become always become more you are an evolutionary being that is consciously evolving and if we don't realize this we can begin to feel stuck and trapped by our life by the personality we've created by the roles we've played and what I'm suggesting is by opening we begin to stretch we begin to move out of being egoically centric and focused and we start to open up to a broader wider version of ourselves where everything is possible health can be improved mental and emotional wisdom can be expanded we can begin to expand ourselves outside of that small sense of self into a larger 
more liberated sense of self. So power, potential, openness. And then the second letter, the third letter of power is W and I've chosen the word wisdom. So in order to unleash our authentic power and occupy our authentic power, we get to tune in to our natural wisdom. What's our natural wisdom? Our natural wisdom says it's, it's subtle. It's the wisdom that our body holds, that pumps our blood, beats our heart, moves oxygen through our system, has every system, our endocrine, our all of the systems of our body moving in perfect harmony and unison. Everything's communicating between each other. There's a natural wisdom that the body holds that is beyond our ability to truly understand. Doctors and science have, have explored the wisdom, the natural wisdom of the body, but nobody really knows why we're here, how the human system works, why it's doing what it's doing. But there's something beyond our human capability of understanding a natural wisdom that is a part of our very body. It's our brain. It's our nervous system. It's our ability to smell and see and taste and touch. It's our all of the systems. Can you imagine having to consciously be keeping all of your body going? No, you don't have to. We don't have to because there's a natural wisdom within us that does it. So just knowing this and exploring this and meditating on the fact that there's something, there's a, a divine wisdom, if you will, the wisdom of God, the wisdom of the universe that is moving through us and keeping everything going. And this is the same with all, in all natural life. We can depend on this natural wisdom. We don't have to ask it to work, it just does. So as we're considering our authentic power today, it's very important to understand and trust our natural wisdom, to know that it not only causes and creates and supports the functioning of, of life, it's also something that we can tune into to inform our thoughts. We can open up our minds and open up our hearts and tune into this greater mind, the mind of the divine, the intuition that we feel in our everyday life, the, the hunches that we get, the things that we know without really knowing how we know them. That's our access point into this divine mind, this natural wisdom. We access it when we become still, when we become quiet and we sit in quiet contemplation and meditation, we access this natural wisdom that is always available to us. So we've got potential, potentiality. We've got the ability to open our mind and open our heart. And we've got the ability to tune in to our natural wisdom. So what's next? P-O-W-E. We have an essence. We have an essential self that is this body, that is this mind, that is everything that we've experienced and more. We have an essential self and a soul that is more than the body, more than the mind, but is that's part of it. We're also eternal beings. We've never been born, we've, we never die. We're on a infinite journey of the soul. We're an evolutionary, energetic force for love, channel of love that is temporarily incarnated as Allison, as you, as all beings, temporarily incarnated into this body. But we are so much more than this. We're more than the body, we're more than the mind. We are this essential self 
that is so connected to everything and everyone. We're all related, interdependent, inter coexisting. We're all giving form to the one. And so having a, an awareness of our essential nature, that we're more than this, gives us greater awareness and understanding and potentiality for greater expression of ourself as we are incarnated on this planet. So once we tune in to our potentiality, once we open our mind and heart, once we trust and relax into our natural wisdom, our essential self begins to take over. Our essential self begins to have greater ability to have control or mastery over our ego, our small self, that part of us that is so vitally important as we are moving through this human incarnation to have a, an emerging of the ego aspect of ourself with our essential self. This merging of the ego and essence is integral to being a channel for the omnipotence, the one power that God is, the one power of love that God is. We must have an understanding and a merging of our ego and our essence. So that's why I chose that word, essence. And then the last letter of the word power is R. And I've chosen the word relax because there's a particular energy to the word power. There's a particular movement and tension that occurs when we're consciously trying to manifest something, whether it's manifesting peace or manifesting power or manifesting love or manifesting joy. There's a particular tension and energy that is within that striving, within that attempt to channel our energies and our potentialities. So I've chosen the word relax because it's, it's like the yin and the yang. There's, there's this aspect of the polarity between the tension that exists within the word power and the absolute acceptance or the relaxing into it. So there's a tension and then there's a relaxingness to our ability to embrace our power, use our power. And so becoming aware that we can just simply relax into it. It's not hard. It can be absolutely easy. And once we understand our authentic power moves, moves through us in an easy and relaxed way, we can begin to integrate our great ability to occupy our authentic power, to stay keyed in, focused in, grounded in our potential, this seed this blueprint within us that says everything is possible. The world is your oyster. It doesn't have to be difficult. It's actually very easy to allow this power, this potentiality to move through us in our lives and open us up to everything. And so we, get, we have potential, we have openness, we have wisdom, we have our essential self merging with our ego self and we relax. We stay calm and centered in this power, just trusting and knowing that everything is unfolding perfectly. There's a, a relax, a letting go that happens when we wake up, when we're in tune with our potential, when we, that seed within that is our blueprint has cracked open and we start to actualize it, our essential self, our natural wisdom, as our life. We start to move through the world with a sense of being wide awake. You can see it, you can feel it, you can taste it, you can touch it. It's alive, 
it's vibrant and it's showing up as you and me and all of us as we start to embrace our natural wisdom, as we start to occupy our essential self. We start to become part of this co-created world and we start to begin to consciously evolve. We don't simply live by default. We start to harness and master the power of our minds. And we start to use the power of our mind, the power of our love, the power of our kindness, the power of our caring, the power of our compassion, the power of our intellect, our will, our determination. We unleash the power that is just constantly throwing, flowing through us. We get to do that. That's the good news. And we share it every week here for, Sun, for Satya Sunday Message. So I hope this has supported you. I love you and I bless you wherever you are. And I invite you to join me right now in a prayer. So close your eyes, touch your heart, acknowledge yourself. Acknowledge yourself for simply being alive, for being a way that God is showing up in human form today. You are the answer to someone's prayer today. Wake up to that invitation. Wake up to the power that is coursing and flowing and moving through you, that wants to be unleashed by means of you, through your thoughts, through your words, and through your actions. Unleash your potential and give form to that vision, that dream, that idea that is wanting to give form through you. And just say yes, relax into that and say, yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm willing. Yes, I'm open. I trust and know that the storehouse, the banquet table is full and I partake of the feast of plenty. And I channel this feast, this plenty, this abundance through everything I think, everything I feel and everything I do. I am a beneficial presence on this planet. And I say thank you life, thank you God, for all that you are, all that we are, and all that we are becoming. I know who you are in truth. I know who I am in truth. I know who we are, and what we are, and how we serve, and life is good. May we be blessed all at once, every sentient being in this cosmos. We are blessed, we're lifted up in the word of this, this powerful prayer. May we all be blessed now and always, and so it is. Namaste to you, peace and blessings. And if you need support, we've got a powerful practitioner team that wants to support you right where you are. Just DM us. And if you would like to support this ministry of inspiring minds, healing hearts, and transforming lives, you can donate on Venmo at Satya Center, on PayPal at the Satya Center, or you can go to our website, site, satyalive.org. And don't forget, next week, we're going to be meeting in person. And you can find out more about this on the website. Uh, you can find, about, find out about this through DMing one of us, me, Alison Benjamin, and we'll tell you about our wonderful brunch and message and workshop The Power of I Am that we're doing next Sunday in person at Dr. Pam Chapman's house in South Ogden. So peace and blessings to you. I'll see you tomorrow for Growing Edge Live uh, broadcast at 10 a.m. Mountain Time over on New Thought Media Network on YouTube or right here on the Satya Facebook page. And my guest is the amazing Beth Wheat. So I'll see you tomorrow. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.